Hello ladies and gentlemen, Top Hat Gaming Man here um, with my plus one link streak. Can I call you my plus one or does that sound a little bit homosexual? It's fine, I don't mind. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so today I've decided that we shall be talking about um, that Mario cereal they have over in Novus Mundus, uh. aka the old British colonies, aka, um, what do they call that place these days? America. No, it's not America because then, you, then you've got to put... Um, blame on the poor Canadians as well and the poor Mexicans and Cubans the United etc. States of United America. States of America yes that's better okay so, yes. uh, so this is how we've decided to start this then um, going from Nintendo Cardboard which nobody's been talking about for about a week now yes it's already been done back to Mario back Serial to Mario which Serial. has already been done as well <laughs> but just about a month before <laughs> which is nobody's been talking about for a couple of months no, so, no but um, um, out of date content but still relevant yes somehow yes, yes. yeah it's been made re-relevant yes just. literally re-relevant I would say because I was triggered today uh, when I was on my Twitter feed um, looking for it um, that's speaking, irony yeah it's <laughs> irony when I say feed and I'm talking about yeah. eating habits okay. But yes, um, I saw some of that Mario cereal, and um, to be fair, looking at it, it seems to be some form of substance abuse, because <laughs> it looks so disgusting, this stuff, what people are ingesting. It's not really much different to Lucky Charms, though, is it? it uh, it's not much different to Lucky Charms, but there's a, that's a reason they released Lucky Charms in the UK in the early 90s, if you remember, mm. and then it got pulled from shelves about two months later, because it was basically... A, pretty much a government health warning was put against it, wasn't it? Because it would yeah. have been so wrong to market something so dreadful to children as a breakfast snack. So, yeah, and America still has this. Yes, what's happened? We, we should have progressed past that. That was nearly 30 years ago and they're still eating yeah. that rubbish. I mean, we can still get it over here, but you have to actually go and seek it out. You have to go to a specialist shop. It's basically like bought in drugs. So if you, want it, if you want some Lucky Charms, you have to go to a specialist shop and buy it for about... Um, Ten pounds, or so, a box, or something. Probably no, more than that. I, I, I picked a box up a couple of weeks ago for about four quid. Really? Four yeah, pounds? Yeah. So maybe it has been legalised. Cheaper than degree. cigarettes. Really? And only slightly more healthy. That's bizarre. So, but yes, yeah. but yes, Lucky Charms. I find it absolutely vulgar yeah. as well. Anyway, we'll come back to the cereal itself. Nintendo cardboard, Mark One. Um, yeah, it came with amiibo functionality-ish. From what I believe, and yeah. um, due to that, for some reason, it caused an outbreak of scalping, like with any oh. other Nintendo product. So basically, you had all of these unskilled morons who can't get real jobs um, attempt to make money by reselling stuff on eBay yeah. instead. You really do hate these resellers. I do, I hate anyone who can't earn um, money in a um, Legit ethical way. Legitimate. Legitimate or ethical, really, which yeah. is my main gripe with this cereal. Yeah. It does not seem ethical to me to market a product like that to children, and even more, unethical that a parent would buy that for their child. Do you think that they're actually able to buy it for their children though? Because from what I hear, it wasn't on the shelves. Ah. It had literally been scalped to buggery well before. So this. maybe for a change, maybe the scalpers are actually the goodies in this situation. Maybe maybe Jamie Oliver has just made a load of eBay accounts and he's gone around and he's bought every cereal, he's just got sent these people around to every Walmart, bought every Mario cereal and just put them all online for stupid money so that um, people can't procure them. He's done like a beta version of the impending sugar tax that the UK is... Oh yes, that's cheating! <laughs> I am so happy about the new UK sugar tax, by the way, yeah. because I remember a couple of years ago we brought in a health tax, didn't we? So now you get we get heavily taxed on supplements such as um, protein and stuff like that. And I always said, why the bloody hell am I being... Um, charge taxes to eat healthy but all these fat bastards who are a drain on the NHS get to eat their bloody burgers and uh, sweets and that for cheaper that doesn't make so any you, sense you can't say that sometimes it's big bones and they would they obviously they consume more food as well don't they no big bones Oh, uh, whatever. All I'm saying is, okay, they may have big bones, but they're still carrying a lot of weight, aren't Glandular. they? Glandular. Whatever it is, they are consuming large amounts. So that's a great amount of tax, extra tax money we're going to have um, going up to our government. I think, I think that's genius. Yeah. So Jamie Oliver has done us all a favour. I think. Well, he's done us a favour. He's actually listened, and yeah. um, we eat fairly sensibly, I suppose. I think we can get a bigger luggage allowance when we travel. That's always annoyed me as well. Like, what's that about? Like. Why, for example, if I go on a plane, do I have to pay extra to bring more luggage? Yet someone who's about three times my weight, about 30 stone, gets charged the same amount when they're carrying so much more weight. That does not make sense, does it? 
Unfortunately, no. It doesn't. Like yeah. I'm all, I'm constantly being penalised for being healthy. I don't, I don't understand. At least that's the issue in the UK, and it's probably the same in America. I would gather as well. And if people want to know why I always talk about America, you bastards make up about sixty percent of my um, audience. So of course I'm going to talk about you. You're the only ones who watch me. So yes, you're the only ones I talk about you because um, you're the most important. Yeah, are they the most important? I suppose so. It's sixty percent of your audience. Sixty percent. Make Sunny. America great again. That probably upset people as well. Wouldn't it? <laughs> That'll upset people. Some people. No, no. Ignore me. Let's get back on subject. We're trying yeah. to talk about Mario cereal and um, people being morons and actually consuming it. Yeah. Would you not eat it? I would not eat it. Maybe I would taste it, or if I was to eat it, I would eat it as, as a pudding. So the only time I would eat it was was basically um, after a meal as a treat, perhaps. But I would not eat it to, as a start of the day, and I certainly wouldn't feed it to children because that's going to be a sugar crash as soon as you've woken up, isn't it? Yeah, no, um, feeding it to children is... You're asking for problems. Not great. Haven't they got an issue over in the States as well with loads of children being uh, wrongly diagnosed with ADHD? Yes. And, and, they're, and they're wondering what is going on. Yeah, yeah. It's, it does <laughs> what happen. the hell is going on? No, seriously. Yeah, it happens over here as well. There's, there's, it tends to be doctors that go on training courses to diagnose things like that, and all of a sudden there's a massive spike, and then it kind of trails off a little bit when they realise that actually maybe they overdid it a bit. So, if um, these children in the United States wasn't eating stuff like Lucky Charms mm. and the Mario cereal for breakfast, do you think there'd be a chance of those wrong diagnoses going down slightly? You would assume so. Yes. Yeah. So, another point as well. Like I said, I know Lucky Charms was banned. Have we talked about Lucky Charms being banned already? Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Well, they were. But yeah, Lucky Charms were banned by um, the government for um, health reasons. Was it, was it, it might have been by the government. It was banned by someone in the UK, so we lost Lucky Charms. But regardless of that, um, I did not believe the Brits or most Europeans in general would feed such a snack to their children for breakfast anyway. No, not most. I that's think. would culturally and for anyone, yes, that's the wrong thing to do. Yeah. So I'd be interested actually um, to like our American audience, do any of you feed your children um, stuff like Lucky Charms or... Um, Mary O's. Mary O's for breakfast. I'd really be curious to know and if so, why? Like, Why would you poison your own offspring? Do you, do you get that? I suppose, in a way. How are they going to make America great again if they're probably not going to live past 30? Maybe that's the way they're dealing with their pension crisis. Have they got a pension crisis like we have? I suppose they do keep going on about there's too many people in their country, don't they? So maybe yeah. it's a way of culling their population because apparently there's, there's, not, there's just too many people there. That's what they all say anyway. They're trying to throw people across borders and all sorts, aren't they? <laughs> so yes, maybe it's a way to cull people. It's like kill them with... Sugar overloads. Why didn't they call them like mariachios? Mariachios. Who's mariachi? Like mariachi, like um, the Mexican oh, singers. Oh, Mexican bands. Yeah. Mariachi. They could just kill off all the Mexicans. Um, I think um, their far left would refer to that as cultural appropriation, which would make a lot of people re. So um, yes, they wouldn't do that. It's better than culling off their own kind. Yes. Um, so, so I suppose more, it's more American. What, to kill off their own people? To kill off other people rather than their own people. No, they like killing their own people as well. That's why they're allowed to carry guns, isn't it? Because they, like, they, li they like to have the freedom to kill each other. For protection. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. So, yes, okay. they like to have the... Yeah. Anyway, we've gone slightly off topic. We so, maybe we should, topic. should we round this off a little bit? Smooth we've, down the edges? Have we gone off topic? We've, we've basically been talking about self-destruction of a nation, haven't we? And that cereal is part of the issue. <laughs> so, Nintendo... is Was it a Nintendo of America or a Nintendo of Japan idea? Couldn't tell you. I, 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 no, no, not a bloody clue. Maybe someone in the comments maybe, will be able to tell us. Maybe it's a secret war that Japan is starting. Okay, yes, they did. They, 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 they nuked Japan, didn't they? So yeah, maybe this is revenge. Yes, maybe. Killing them with cereal. <laughs> That's all I can think. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, oh. I hope when you wake up tomorrow, you um, make the right decision and start your day... Um, with a um, healthy lifestyle choice. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I that, suppose so. That way you can make America great again. Cheerio.